Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be recreating Ruth's famous bread pudding. So the reason and how I got this exact recipe is because whenever you dine into Ruth Chris, they'll sometimes give you these recipe cards. So I'm going to go by this and hopefully it turns out just like the one at Ruth's Chris. So here you will see some of the ingredients that I'll be using today. I'm not going to go deep into the measurements or anything like that as I am cooking throughout the video because they will be on the description box above. So to begin, you're going to need one small red apple and you're going to peel this and you're going to cut this or dice it into half inch cubes. Next, you're gonna need one eight ounce loaf of French bread, and you'll need to cut these into half inch cubes as well. So here you'll see that I'm using regular sugar and brown sugar. The process says to combine sugars and divide in half. So I'm mixing these thoroughly, and then I'm just gonna separate these into two separate bowls. Next, we're gonna beat six eggs. And into one of our bowls that we separated the sugar, we're gonna go ahead and add the cinnamon, vanilla, and bourbon. And it also says to add a pinch of salt, which you'll see me doing right here. And I'm just gonna mix these thoroughly and then I'm gonna combine it with my egg mixture. Moving on to the next step, we're gonna combine in a small saucepan milk, half and half, the other half of the sugar and butter and we're gonna bring this to a boil. Once you see everything in the saucepan boiling, you're just gonna turn it off and let it sit for a few minutes. Once it is no longer boiling, you can go ahead and add the simmering liquid from the saucepan into the egg mixture and make sure you are stirring this well because we do not want our eggs to scramble. Next, you're gonna go ahead and add your apples and your raisins and then your bread. At this point, you wanna preheat your oven to 375 degrees. We're gonna put all of these ingredients into an eight by 10 by three inch pan. And we're gonna cook this for 45 minutes. Once that's cooking, we can move on to our sweet cream whiskey sauce. So for this sauce, you are going to need eight egg yolks. And you see me separate the eggs from the yolks here in this video if you're not familiar with it. And you're just gonna do this eight times with each of the eggs. Now we won't need the egg whites for this recipe, but I do recommend saving them for the morning. So here is the tricky part. The recipe calls for one and a half cups of sugar, but it wanted us to take out three fourth cups of sugar out of that one and a half, making two separate bowls. Now, in a small saucepan, we're gonna add two cups of heavy cream and the, one of the bowls of the 3 4th cup of sugar. <laughs> Sorry, it's a lot to say. But we're gonna mix this and we're just gonna let it sit in the heat until it begins to boil. And then you're gonna turn it off and let it simmer for just a few minutes off. So now we're gonna combine our egg yolks, the remaining sugar and vanilla in a separate bowl. And we're gonna mix until well blended. At this point, that liquid in that pan should not be boiling. It should be very warm, but not boiling. It should have just been simmering at that point. You're gonna incorporate these two ingredients together and you're gonna mix very, very well because we do not wanna scramble these eggs either. Now, we're gonna transfer this mixture into a double broiler and we're gonna let that cook and sit there while we're stirring constantly for eight to 12 minutes. You should begin seeing a change in color. And here you're gonna see me adding the bourbon sauce. And I'm sorry, not the sauce, the bourbon. 
And last but not least, we're gonna pass this through a strainer and let it cool until we're ready to serve this on top of our delicious bread pudding. After 45 minutes, our bread pudding is out of the oven and it does recommend to serve warm with vanilla ice cream. So that is exactly what we're gonna do today. To begin assembling this, we're gonna put the bread pudding in the bottom. We're gonna drizzle that delicious whiskey sweet cream sauce and then we're gonna top it off with vanilla ice cream. And I gotta say, this was so good. It was very, very sweet. Yes, I'm not gonna lie, but it was so good. It was just like Ruth Chris. The recipe is a little confusing. It's gonna be all in the description box above so y'all can read it for yourself. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you guys next week with another video. Bye guys.